I love this song! So anyway, we're just having a, a quick look at... Well, this is the Sega Terra Drive running on its original power supply. Uh, it's actually the power supply from the Model 2, but don't tell anyone that. Whoa, let's just move in a little bit closer. And uh, we're running the hard drive, which we've replaced the two capacitors, three capacitors on, again. And the uh, floppy drive in there, which also had two capacitors replaced. And they both work. There were no flames, no fires. So that's very good. Here's a... Uh, so this is the Incredible Machine uh, from 93, I think it is. I, I have fond memories of playing this back in primary school. Um, and also I do remember copying it onto floppy disks to take home to my own computer. <laughs> now, if that's not... Um, geez, my first act of piracy was way back then. Good thing I've been a good citizen since then. Um, now, I've also got it connected up to the PVM. As you can see, it doesn't quite like this video mode too much, so it's deciding to sort of split it in half and do weird things with it. Um, at the moment, we're set to video, not RGB, because if I flick it over to RGB, that screen turns off. But this one's still going, which is interesting. So I guess even when you're in composite mode, it will usually output something, but it's a very low resolution, so it's a miracle that works at all. I mean, if we drop to DOS... How do you drop to DOS? You can use the uh, the arrow keys to move the mouse. That's pretty cool. How do you engage? Engage! I'm just going to control or delete that. Okay, so... Ah, oh, control or delete drops me to DOS. Okay. Control or delete again. So I want to actually control or delete so you can see what's happening. So two screens. We're booting up on video mode. So that one's out of range. This one says starting MS-DOS. <laughs> As you can see, it's... Uh, Quite a small screen. But, you know, it functions. And there's a whole bunch of things. I don't even know what's on here. Got Paku Paku. That doesn't work too well on this particular screen. Puzzle construction. Uh, mod play. I don't think I've got that working. What do I want? I want games. We've got uh, Crystal Caves, Incredible Machine 93, and Wolf 3D. So I'm going to go with uh, Caves. Because it's way cooler than Wolf 3D. Every file is called CC1. So straight away there, we've got another out of range on the big one. And this one's actually displaying it, well, pretty correctly. We seem to be lacking colour. Which could actually be a setting that I've done. So many things on here. Nope, nothing I've done. So it just doesn't have colour because it doesn't want to have colour because it's NTSC. Uh, this is a. Uh, I believe this screen is uh, more PAL inclined. So let's uh, let's win the game. I used to like this game as well. It's a bit more difficult though. Watch him crash land. If you can see past the reflections. Oh, that's better. Uh-oh, steering system is failing. Again? Where is he going to end up? How did he not see that? There we go. Alright. So isn't that exciting? Oh, down jump. Okay, I'm just going to hold down jump. Seems to be working pretty well for me so far. Yeah. D. 
Down we go into the crystal caves. Uh, oh, that was close. Winners don't use drugs. What's through door number one? Please don't be the reverse upside down room. Oh, nothing but guns. And crystals. Oh no. Just walk through the enemies, I'll be good. Oh, come on, I was doing fine. Uh, thanks for watching. Forgotten the point of this video.